My name is Olivier Marie and I'm French. I lived about 10 years in the United Kingdom and I've been living eight years in the Netherlands now. My hobbies, um, well, my big sport hobby is squash. I play with some of our students and they're always getting younger and I'm always getting older, so it's never getting easier. But I still beat most of them. When I was a research assistant after my master's degree, I met a very interesting professor who was working on crime issues. And uh, that really interested me because it was a different way of using economics. And that really inspired me. My expertise on the economics of crime comes into my teaching uh, through the two courses I teach at this university, which is labor economics, which is the study of many human behaviors uh, via economic methods, such as immigration decisions, education decisions, labor decisions, do you work or not work, unemployment or employment decisions, that's labor economics in a way. And I also teach a new course for econometricians called Economics for Econometricians, where we are trying to get econometricians interested in new economic issues. And I bring a lot of my knowledge of economics of crime in this topic. The economics of crime field as a, a research topic started really 50 years ago with a theoretical model from Gary Becker, a Nobel Prize, who put the decision to commit a crime as an economic decision choice. And it's called choice theory and you make choices every day in life on whether to do one thing or another and you do a cost benefit. And the economics of crime, he considered that every human behavior can be put in this framework, including crime, including marriage decision, including discrimination, including immigration decision. And crime for him fell in the same way. And since this period, there has been a few people working in this field, especially to test the theoretical predictions with policies. I am actually working on a paper which uh, is quite interesting because I've looked at the impact of cannabis access for student performance. So I looked at the fact that certain students, depending on their nationality, were not able to enter coffee shops in the city of Maastricht. And Maastricht is a very big university and we had all the test scores from all the students in the universities. And we were able to compare over time the results of the students who were able to enter coffee shops and smoke cannabis and of those who could not enter. And so what's the conclusion you might ask? And the conclusion was when you cannot enter coffee shops, your test scores are much better. You do much better at every exam. So it sounds like ob an obvious conclusion, smoking might not be good for you. But the real question of the paper was, is access important for people's decision to smoke? Because you could think, even if I don't have access, my friends can give me cannabis or I can find it another way. But if the, it's legal or not, does it make a difference? My favorite part of the job is to interact with young minds who are always curious and always want to know more. And maybe I'm not set in their ways, so they also bring some freshness to me. I'm extremely happy uh, to be at Erasmus School of Economics and to be in Rotterdam in particular. So I'm a big fan of the Netherlands since I've moved here. So I used to live uh, in France, then in the UK, and I really love both of these countries, but I think the Netherlands has the right balance between liberalism and social organization, which makes it an excellent place to live. I think uh, students are extremely well catered for, so the universities has extremely good facilities. Uh, we really try to take good care of them here, which I find pretty good compared to France, where maybe in the public university there's too many students and it's a bit difficult to get around that and in the UK it's extremely selective sometimes and 
Uh, you have very few students uh, from a special background here. You have a good mix of people and uh, the city is very nice. I love cycling around without any danger. They could work a bit on their food, but it's getting better over the years. So I think uh, we're not too far from France, so I can buy some stuff over there sometimes. So that's great. So I would say that um, with economics, you can do some extremely interesting research, uh, such as I think economics of crime, which is the, my main topic of interest. But there's also economics of education, economics of migration, economic of discrimination, very interesting topics. My advice to any students is stick to some of the things you might think as boring, like the econometrics, uh, derivatives, uh, equilibriums, uh, understanding all those things. It's extremely important to be able to later on just have them in the back of your mind and do what you're really interested in. But if you give this up too early, you won't be doing the best research at the frontier of economics.